Alright, we're now going to be looking at how to construct a square. And if you recall, a square has four right angles and all sides are congruent in a square. So therefore, using the given line segment, really what we're going to first do is um, we're going to first draw a 90 degree angle. Okay, that's the first thing that we need. Um, so we're going to take, that's this, this line right here is just kind of our guideline. Um, we're going to start with a fresh line, however, um, right here. And we're going to just copy, basically, first thing is just to copy. We're copying um, that distance of this segment from here to here onto the one that we just created. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to open our compass so that it matches the distance of the line. Okay, so now that we have that distance, we're going to copy that distance onto this segment here. And we're now going to construct a line perpendicular through this new point. So A is here and B is here. We're going to construct a line perpendicular to B. Well, to do that, we're going to go back to the um, third construction of our packet. And we are going to use B as our center point. And what we want to basically do is just draw, um, in step two I'll use red. Um, we're going to draw so that kind of a little arc here so that it goes through two points of um, our new line segment. Okay, so here and here. We are now going to open our compass halfway, a little bit more than halfway. Remember we talked about doing that so that we can do a perpendicular line. And so we're going to do perpendicular here. And now from the other point on the line, you're going to do the same thing. And now you're going to use your ruler to draw a line um, that is perpendicular. Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate our ruler around here. And again, we are not using a protractor to measure this. We're doing this all with a compass and straight edge. That is it. All right, so now how long should this side be? We need to find a point C up here somewhere. And again, remember, it's the same distance as this line segment down here. So let's go ahead and adjust our compass again so that we can get this how long this segment is, and we're going to bring that up to here and point B, and we're going to copy that distance onto this next segment. So that's where point C is going to be. Point C. Okay, same process we just did here with B, we're going to now do with C, because now we need a perpendicular line through C. So same process again. We are going to use point C as our center point, and we are going to construct a half circle. I'll go ahead now and let's use uh, let's use pink. We'll use pink now. Um, we're going to draw this half circle here. That's now going to be our end point. We're going to open it up a little bit more than halfway, and going to draw a half circle here. Go over to the other side. Repeat that same process. Draw a half circle here, and now you can see where those two here and here intersect. We're going to now draw another segment. Let's flip our ruler around and line up the two points. Um, we want to probably pull it down a little bit because we're going to want to connect back around. Um, so there now we have our, another, our next segment. Now we're going to again measure the distance of our given segment. Again, this was just our measuring point. This is just so that we can get the, what each side of the square is. Let's go ahead now and pull that down here so that we can get how big this segment is. And there we go. Now from point C, we are going to measure from here to here, and that's going to be where point D is. Do you have to do any more measuring or using your compass from here if I have point D and A? Nope. All you have to do is use your ruler now to connect point D and A, and you are finished. So let's go ahead now here and connect point D and point A, and you're done your square. Now you have four sides that are congruent to the given segment because you measured them using your compass. So now you have this is congruent to this, to this, and to this because you measured to be congruent to the given segment. And since you did perpendicular lines, you know that this is perpendicular to this, to this, and to this.